Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Tangent Time where I talk about random things. I have made this video multiple times and this is going to be the final one, like the actual final one. Title is Content Zombie. If that isn't obvious from what that um, title means, which actually is very ambiguous so you probably don't, is that I am a content zombie. I consume tons of media on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, even 4chan. Because I just want to know what the shit takes of the 4chaners are. Because you've got to have a wide variety of viewpoints, right? And I realized nothing I'm consuming actually matters at all. And half the time, like media, media publishers, like and directors from Hollywood, Marvel, Disney, they're just trying to tell me what I'm supposed to like. And I just don't care anymore. Like I, I had a huge analysis on each of these systems, like how movies are basically like create archetypes. They just shove in nostalgia, how they shove in like movie stars, how writers are too young, inexperienced, egotistical, or under deadlines, constraints, can don't have enough time for rewrites. Plenty of things. At the end of the day, I'm just tired. I am making stories right now, I am writing code, I am creating gameplay mechanics, and I'm just tired of constantly being told that these games are good or adequate, and no. People talk about the golden age of music and the golden age of movies, guess what, there was a lot of shit. There was a lot of fucking dog shit. And we just don't remember it because it was forgotten. That's why we just remember the good stuff. And then when you compare it to all of the dog shit that we have to consume now, yeah, it seems like that was good. But the pastures are always greener on the other side, right? So why am I saying this? I'm just saying, right now, Marvel is pretty shit. It has been for a while. And a lot of the time, the source material that they're actually taking from is actually a lot more entertaining, nuanced, and fun. It just takes... More cognitive function to be able to read, but you can train yourself. So why am I saying all this? I'm going back to reading. I used to read a lot as a child, and then as information became more and more condensed and more flashy and more dopamine, boom, you get addicted to it. Trying to understand public opinion, all this sort of thing, to be a better human. All of this is important. I realized something. It doesn't fucking matter. Listening to the same fucking racist asshole on 4chan is, isn't going to make me understand racism better. Like, r reading, like, hot takes and dumb fucking pol pol political opinions on fucking Reddit about, Amer or like, how they all hate Americans. I've met Americans for the first time properly on this island in the Caribbean. Most of them are lovely people. They're pretty used to getting dogpiled and hated on the internet and by other people. But they're pretty chill about it for the most part. And I'm like, damn. My opinion about you was really, really heavily skewed because of the internet on Reddit and all that sort of shit. What a dog cunt I was. I should become better. I should try to be less judgmental. Internet does not make that possible. It literally tells you how you're supposed to feel. And if you feel any different, you're a fucking monster. Same thing with movies and TV shows. I am a very strong supporter of representation and like representation of like um races uh like ra like and so to prevent certain uh, like systemic like racism and like systemic like sexism that thing i do agree showing proper representation of these sort of things on screen is important not the way that it's currently done people argue that it is better than nothing fuck you and your dumb take just because something is adequate doesn't mean that it's good enough having a enough nutrients you can fucking live off of chicken chicken and broccoli that doesn't mean that your life is good you know your life kind of sucks variety you are like flavors different spices makes life living eating is half of my life joy and you're telling me that adequate is good no if you're pumping millions of dollars and expecting me to spend my sacred fucking time on this earth when I don't believe in a fucking afterlife to consume your media that's absolutely dog shit to basically consume something that's just so fucking piss ass weak in the, like the like self congratulatory con congratulatory as well I'm just like come on do better I'm not gonna reward people that make shit 
I'm not going to say that you're great. I'm, I have nothing against you as a person. You're probably fine. Fine father, mother, raise your kids well. Don't fucking know. Probably are. Don't care. You made a shit movie. You made a shit TV show. It's bad. And the feeling the need to constantly justify that sort of shit, I'm fucking so done with it. Uh, at this point, I've just made this video so much, I don't actually know what I am currently talking about in this f uh, five minutes. But yeah, functionally, what I'm trying to say is, is that there's a lot of media out there. A lot of it's dog shit. Social media is also cancer and dog shit. I try to constantly justify it to myself and my brain. Oh, yeah, consuming this, understanding public opinion, all these sort of things are boring. It really isn't. So I'm going to uh, reduce the amount of things that I consume online and just uh, read. And this video is pop functionally just to hold me accountable. World War Z was fucking amazing. June was amazing. I have the Dark Tower series. I have um, Hyperion. I have eventually I'm going to read The Wheel of Time because by God, that show sucked. And I hear everyone says that the book's really, really good. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm just, yeah, I'm just tired of people saying that like these shows are good or bad. And I'm just tired of being angry. I'm tired of just watching something mediocre, people completely contorting. Of like the actual core like principles story beats what they're trying to convey through their story and then just being like this is my version which completely sucks and then just being like i did good and every single piece of criticism is just non-whimsical to be fair though i will give them the benefit of the doubt in an olive branch as a person that basically has mental health issues if uh, my partner says you're beautiful i don't hear that you pick up negativity a lot faster. I can completely understand as an actor, or director, or content creator, or whatever, the horde of positive is never going to be seen if there's a couple of people like, fuck you, racist comment, sexist comment. You'll hone in on that. So then lashing out and saying all the fans, all the motherfuckers are toxic. Like, I get it. I really do. I do feel like if you're a director or a person that's producing content out on like that large scale, eat. People should be better. They're never going to be. Because you can't hold everyone accountable. And they still pay for your money. Like they pay for your bills and shit like that. So you just kind of. I don't want to say it. But it's kind of like one of those things. Like, what can you do? Free speech is a difficult topic. That could be in its own fucking video in itself. And once again, trying to have a nuanced take with that would probably take a long time to like portray all the viewpoints too. But all in, all in the end, I'm saying is, is that I get it. I hate rings of power. I do not think that the dudes that wrote it deserve death threats. Do I think they're fucking idiots? Yup. Do I think their writing sucks? Yup. Do I think they're bad people? No, I don't know. I don't know anything about them. You know? I think that's a pretty fucking like decent take to have. Well, I think that they probably received so much hate that they're now basically saying all of you motherfuckers are toxic. I would too if I was in a position scrolling through Twitter and everyone's just giving me death threats. Yeah, I'd basically call you everyone a fucking bunch of toxic assholes. Doesn't make what you wrote any less shit though. But I don't think that anyone should receive that level of like um, hatred or stuff like that. I'm angry at them, but I wouldn't say that I hate them, you know? So that is my olive branch. Like, I get it. I get it to some extent. So, sympathy there. You still made dog shit. Do better next time, please. But to be fair, it doesn't really matter for me personally. And you don't even have to fucking listen to me. Because why the fuck would you? We're complete rando. And that's absolutely good take. I'm just saying, you've made, you, so many fucking new writers and stuff like that haven't made shit. And they're probably not going to actually spend time to make good shit because they're e Hollywood pr produces the worst type of egotistical monsters. And it makes sense when everything's flashy, Instagram, big booties, plastic surgery, constant, what's the next trend hype, like that sort of like attention seeking type of like personality. So of course you're going to have like some of the worst writers and some of the worst fucking directors and shit like that and it's just it's just it's just that culture right that they've just produced in that region so yeah i just don't care anymore you guys make shit and i don't fucking care i'm gonna go read some dark tower